if you have a chance, check out my new healing song on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon Music. So today I thought I'd talk a little bit about receptivity and why it is important in your spiritual path. Okay. So the way the mind works is that the mind works through information. It says, Jason, you know, I have a question for you. And then maybe Jason has an answer. And then your mind weighs it and says, okay, that's the right answer, the wrong answer. Maybe I like the answer, maybe I don't like the answer. And it goes back and forth with this game. And then after a long sort of debate that goes on inside there, perhaps it says, okay, that seems accurate. Now, what else do you have, Jason? Okay, let's ask a question. And then Jason answers and then the, the whole thing goes on again. It's a very slow process because the mind is a filter. And the problem is with the mind is that it does not experience, not the experiences of the heart. It doesn't have the experiences of love. There's no experience of tenderness, of okayness. The mind is all about information and discarding what is appropriate and what is needed and what isn't. It's, it's about filtration of reality, not experiencing the totality of reality itself. So one day when you have had enough of the game of filtration. You start to say there must be more to life than just information. And the experience or the limited experience of information. You know, a lot of people think the highest level of happiness is excitement. But excitement is something that happens through the mind, but it is not fulfillment. It's excitement, excitement, go, 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 and then all of a sudden, boom, there's a crash, and there's a depression, and you gotta look for something else, and it's this back and forth sort of thing. So a lot of people that burn their minds out, they get so excited, they're just burned out, their adrenals are burned out, they're always looking, always doing, always um, studying, gaining more access to information, but no matter how much information they get, the experience of love eludes them. Unconditional love. So if you wish to go beyond the experiences of the mind, such as excitement and gaining power, you know, the ego type of things, if you wish to go beyond that and go to the unconditional, you have to become more receptive. And receptive means you are receiving everything that is around you at all times and everything that is inside you. You're letting go of all meaning. Because really this filtration device called the mind has a bunch of meaning on things. It says, this is good, this is bad, right? It's almost like that uh, overprotective brother that always tells you not to go on a date, you know? <laughs> Maybe to his baby sister says, don't go on a date with him, there's something wrong with him. Don't go on a date with him. And before you know it, the girl's locked in a room somewhere because she's never supposed to go on a date ever again because the brother can always see something wrong. The mind is like that with experiences. The mind will look at everything and always find a way to discard receiving. Because receiving will be the death of the mind. The mind is about controlling. It's not about receiving. Now forgive me if I'm not coming up with the right words to explain what it is I know inside, but receiving the reality that is before you. And I'm, go I'm talking about beyond situations and beyond your conversations, just there's an energy that is there. There's a presence that is there that you can receive regardless of whether the superficial stuff is meeting, you know, is it conflict or is peaceful or whatever it might be. There is a presence that is always there that you can receive. You see, it's like we've thrown the baby out with the bathwater. You know, something happens where there's conflict or something, and then we say, okay, that's it, all the reality gone. I'm not experiencing it ever again. But this path is about increasing your receptivity so that more reality pours into you. And by you unconditionally loving that reality, the reality starts to unconditionally love you. It always has, it's just that it was not within your field of awareness. So 
so a good question to ask yourself is, if you're in any situation, how are you receiving it? Or are you finding some way to reject it? You know, there can be opinions here, there can be emotional pain here, or, or sensations, where you're like, oh, I don't want that, I don't want that, and a situation brings that up and you keep pushing that sensation away. There can even be physical experiences, such as the shakes or adrenaline, like, oh, I, I don't like that, so you push the person away before you, or the situation. Perhaps you're scared to be in the forest, so you push the experience away of the forest because there is some fear that comes up in you. You see, it's this pushing away and all of the plans we have in place to make ourselves more powerful at pushing away that is causing all the pain and suffering in you. You'll see this very strongly in, in very opinionated people. They'll have a very active mind, a, a very good reasoning behind pushing everything away. But at some point, they become very miserable because they pushed everything away so much, they've just squeezed all the pleasure out of their life. They've said, I don't want the presence. They, they don't realize they're pushing away the actual presence that is who they are and the experience of it. It's because they've deified an opinion. They've deified some thought that supports their suffering instead of deifying love for the sake of love or acceptance of the divine in the way it shows up. If you wish to be abundant, you must learn to accept, receive. If you wish to have love in your life, you learn to receive. Right? Because what is love really? You know, love is, is how you can serve another human being, but you receive the presence of that person and that energy comes back. It's this perfect harmonious cycle. So yeah, increase your receptivity. Because all you're receiving in the end is happiness. Thanks for watching. Take care for now. So, good news. I'm now available on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and the Amazon store for uh, meditation music and mantra tracks. Okay? So this music is different than my YouTube channel because I have designed it in a way where it's exactly 108 repetitions of just chanting. And the ambient music is different than what you hear in my videos. And it's composed by me. And I've also included my voice through different layers. So that way there is a more powerful transmission from listening to these tracks. So now I'm portable. And now you can take me everywhere you go, even if you don't have Wi-Fi or internet access at that time. And you can use these tracks as a part of your meditation process. And uh, you won't be encumbered by having to hook up to the internet and all that kind of thing. So hope you enjoy it and uh, take care for now.